All right. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. And welcome to the stream. Mighty Tush. How you doing? I uh, had a lot of stuff I had to do this morning. So that's why we're late. We're going to do some nice chill and relaxing factorio. Hopefully I can get stuff done. Uh, I'm going to go over here and check audio. Make sure it's good. Monster. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right. That was a good audio check. All right. Let's, um, Go to the game, launch some Factorio. Man, we have got to be getting close to getting everything we need for these rockets. <clears throat> um, what am I doing over here? Oh, maybe I got resupplied. All right, let's go check in and see what we need for the rockets. Um, so if we assess, we've got our own power source for everything over here because there's no power there. And there's no power there. So this is all running off of its own solar, which is nice. Um, we have our own, um, that says rocket fuel, but it's not rocket fuel yet. We have our own fuel depot for everything over here. And then we have another one for everything over here. Now our factory is kind of broken. So as soon as we get this going, we're gonna go back and address that. All right. Um, let's go see, whoa. Do I have a, um, hang on. Cause I think we were moving towards batteries. So I want to put that there so I can copy that. Oh, we need sulfur. Oh, we can get sulfur. All right. You know, I'm going to start. Um, hang on. All right. I'm going to load up on concrete and just start doing a path. So I can run a little faster. Now, if I do that. Do that. All right. And then that. Let's start doing a like a path from here. Cool. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Right. All right. So we have why do we have this? Oh, that's for, but, oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> um, turn that off. Actually, let's turn on. It looks like we're missing a, uh, oh, excuse me. I just ate my lunch, a rocket silo. Uh, there it goes. Oh, excuse me. Um, so we were working on batteries, right? Okay. All right. So to make a battery, we need sulfuric acid. We have that. We have the iron and copper plates right here. So we have everything we can make. Yes. Cool. The only thing is if I make the batteries here, this resource is going to go kind of against the grain. Um, I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Otherwise, I make them, load them up on a train, take them over, drop them off. I kind of want to do that. I'm going to complicate this. <laughs> All right, so Let's put, so here's our sulfuric acid. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna make them here, <clears throat> here-ish. We're gonna make them here-ish. And we can load the batteries up here, drop them off, because we need another copper. Drop them off here, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so first of all, that's why I put a radar right here so I can see these. We're gonna copy, all of this 
No, not all of it. No, I don't want to copy that. Hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to copy that. All right. And I'm going to put it. there <clears throat> we don't necessarily need this here all right so we need 12 5 10 11 12 and The batteries come out here, so this is where we do the copper. No, no, no. What are you doing? <clears throat> um, need to bring. takes care of that <clears throat> oh we need power there you go and the sulfuric acid also um Then all we're missing is copper. So we're gonna do the same thing we're doing here, the copper line and bring it down and connect. A lot of spaghetti, I get it. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna do this backwards here. Let's get that connected, start making some batteries, and then we're gonna get a train set up. <clears throat> what do we need up there? We need um, a beacon. So we need four and 12. All right, let's go take care of that. All right, so let's set up a loading.
I make a train? I can make a train. Let's make one of these. So this is going to be um, batteries or rocket silo pickup. Train here and R fuel. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's go get restocked. And, um, oh, actually, hang on. Grab uh, a lot of concrete here if I can. I'm going to do that a couple more times. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I should make a train and go back and forth and do this, but it seems like it slows me down. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Let's go get restocked. I need to get, um, I think we're incomplete. Yeah. We need some stuff up here. Um, 
<clears throat> let's get restocked, load up on speed modules, production modules. Um, I have a train. I think we're, we're good. <clears throat> All right, let's go over here and um, grab some of those. Those. Wait till we get restocked so we can see how many, uh, how much space we got. what on on a saturday i played that new cosmeteer architect that's a fun little game we got just barely over a month for the new kerbal very excited i did read that starfield got delayed again i'm just waiting for that All stock, good. So let's go down here. Um, I'm gonna hop in a train this time. And I wanna go to Rocket Silo. Yeah, that's wrong. Do I plan to yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's you know it it's gonna be a hard whoa almost had a train accident um in a way i was kind of on the fence of doing fallout 4 but i tell you what a lot of people enjoyed when i streamed fallout 4 so since this is a role-playing game yeah why not wait no 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 did I pick the wrong destination? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. It's okay that... Oh, right now. Rocket silo unload. Do I have two of them that say rocket silo unload? No, I don't. I'm having a moment here. Rocket silo. That's where I want to go. I went to the power. Turn that off. All right. All right, let's turn this on and see what happens. Oh yeah. I didn't bring enough productivity modules. Oops. All right. So we're going to put the battery unload, I think, just so I think we're going to put it like right here. So 
So we want unloading. I can put it there. I just have to go clean up the mess it makes over here on the rails. <clears throat> Oh, you didn't make a mess. Really? All right. All right. Um, go ahead and make oops, that. Oh, no, no, not a tank. I already have a tank. I meant that. Okay. And then that becomes. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. That's better. This will be a unload. <clears throat> Neat. All right. Then uh, let's shave this off. And we have to put a four to four here. We have 1.6 thousand. So the batteries need to be dropped off on this side. So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to put them down here. So first of all, I need that much space. And then that's where the batteries are going to go. So some of the things I had to do today over at the house, uh, Alex and I met with um, a contractor who's going to do, hey Shiva, how you doing? Who's gonna be doing some stuff that I don't have the working knowledge of doing. Um, and uh, we went over and pulled painting tape and masking tape and stuff off of the rooms that we painted on Sunday. Did really good. There's some areas that have to be touched up and sanded and stuff, but overall, we're actually very, very pleased. Uh, and I do... Oh, no, no. Oh, there. Look at there. Oops. There we go. So all this week I'll be going over and, and touching up, getting those few little things done. And then um, we have to coordinate with the contractor because he's gonna demo or remove the old cabinets. This seems late at night for you. <laughs> it's noon. Uh, I, I had to go over and do some stuff with the house. So it's gonna happen from time to time. But tomorrow I should be back. Oh, geez. Tomorrow I'll be on track. I, I don't have to do anything in the morning. Oh, 
No, we don't have no more. All right, so. Oh, train's not here anymore. Doggone it. All right, I don't want to run back, so. Train. Where am I at again? Oh, gotta be careful. Train, and I'm at the rocket silo unload. Right, that, that doesn't really make, that's unloading stuff at the rocket silo is what that is. And wait for 60 seconds of inactivity that way. So yeah, just starting a little late. Um, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna get the them to replace three exterior doors and one. Well, it's it's technically an exterior door, but it goes. I started replacing the PVC on our stairs. I'm like a toddler. I end up covered in glue. <laughs> I am. I still have. Um, in in uh, in the room that we painted, there was a. Uh, a heater they had uh, going outside. It had a heater that was about an exhaust pipe about yay big. And um, it's in the sheetrock. And um, I had a patch kit, but it didn't work very well. And I said, all right, well, I need to do something because we're gonna paint. And, um, man. Um, so I got this idea from watching a a hack um, to where you cover up the hole with tape, like clear tape. And we had some, but it was very cheap uh, packing tape. And then you poke a hole in it and you squirt. Now they used a joint compound. I didn't have any joint compound, so I used uh, insulating foam and that worked. However, because there was so much of it, it took a while for it to firm up. So when we went over today, nice and firm, we. We sawed it down so it'd be even. So now I've got a little bit of area to, to mud up. Just keep building it up, sanding it down and paint over that and we're good to go. All right. And then uh, where they where they drilled in for the fuel line, which was a kerosene line, um, the, um, the hole that they drilled in on the outside, I put some insulating foam and again, I just whack it off and we're gonna do some masonry work. Um, I was able to put some wood putty in there and I'm just gonna sand it down and paint. It's gonna look just fine. Can't even tell there was uh, any holes there. But um, I'll, uh, I'll send a picture. I did a kind of a before and after in the DIY, uh, but it still had all the masking tape up and stuff like that. But tomorrow I'll go over and, and uh, do some touch up, some sanding and touch up, finish that room and um, yeah, they're, they're in the DIY on Discord. Yeah, they're there. Also, I had <laughs> I had a nightmarish experience. So we rented a paint, an, an airless paint sprayer and it worked fine. Um, I didn't check the pressure. And when I started, it, it started squirting out water or spraying water because the previous person cleaned it, didn't clean it all the way. So we ended up spraying water on the wall. So I had to wipe that down. Finally got paint to come out. And it did a real good job. Um, but the pressure, I think I should have lowered a little bit. We had some paint runs, but was able to fix that with a roller. Um, and then Alex had to leave. So I was painting the last room by myself. So I was kind of trapped in a room and we didn't have enough uh, painters drop cloths because we had them all in the, in the bigger room. So we used um, this cheaper drop cloth, but unfortunately the paint just sat on it. It didn't kind of, you know, it, it so I ended up walking in the hallway with footsteps painted. Yeah. So I got that to clean up. So then when I went to clean out the paint sprayer, the pressure was so high that when I, and I was, I was in a deep sink in the garage and right when I was squeezing it, paint just flew all over me. I got paint everywhere. So good thing it's water-based, you know? Yeah. Anyways, I, uh, because I had paint on my shoes, I took my shoes off and I didn't want to walk around my socks. 
So I took my socks off and I put some booties on, some painting booties. Yeah, I was, my, my toes were cold. Yes, they were. All right, so we're gonna take the train over to that. So anyways, I have a little bit of a mess to clean up in the garage, just in the corner. The worst thing about it was just the amount of time it took to clean it up. And sitting on top of the washing machine in the dryer, I had my, I have two bins full of all the stuff I'm gonna do for my solar project and some splatters got on some of the stuff. Nothing's destroyed or anything like that. It's just, I have to, uh, having a traffic jam here, um, we're gonna have to do some, uh, and it's easy to clean because my watch and my phone got splattered, um, but you can't tell clean but on the edges wait one of the edges yeah like this edge you can see there's still paint there i just didn't clean it so believe it or not and i used windex and a toothbrush all right oh i forgot to pick up uh modules dug on it All right, let's connect this. All right, let's go. That, 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 that. And we turn that in. Oh, well. oh, I guess I didn't do all the batteries. Thought I did. Oh, geez. All right. That, oh, geez. That. That. I, I thought I had all this dialed in already. I, oh, that's in the way. That's all right. Okay, then batteries, okay. did that so wrong i'm gonna cause a problem in there yeah all right so where do where does all that oh geez oh wait that's not gonna help oh yeah it is there we go 
So... What happens when you go too fast? Make mis make you make mistakes. Like that. All right, that. All right, now let's go get the batteries going here. Finally. No, no, no. You guys leave me alone. It's going to take a while for this to uh, work up to it. First of all, let me do this. Um, are we running out of anything? No, sulfuric acid is strong. I'm wondering if... Um, hang on, let me, let me get rid of this for a sec. And if I do another one of these uh, dang it can't split the sulfuric acid All right. so um So that should be, oh, you need how many? You need 12. 5, 10, 11, 12. All right. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm gonna put splitters. I need to go two to four. No, I can't do two to four. I got, I got a stupid question. I put a, put a splitter, right? Oh, I can't do that. Um, split after the merge. Yeah, I'm gonna merge it higher so it's not coming over here. I'm gonna merge up here and then split, yeah. Hey, doing, BK? I'm getting a little too impatient waiting. If I use a splitter, it'd feed this and that into that. That would work. However, if this runs dry, that would cause a problem though, or if that one runs dry. So I think it's probably a good idea to, um, figure out why there was no power. Dang it. <laughs> that was funny. I was going to see where's the batteries? 
what we're gonna do here. I think it'll be fine. Oh, that's going slow. Why? Only a juice. All right. All right, let's go take a train ride. I think I want to put... That we don't ever have to wait on batteries. So this train's path, oh, I don't want to do it yet. We are going to add a station. I'm going to go to the batteries unload. We're going to wait for empty cargo. And then we're going to go get some gasoline. Wait for inactivity of five seconds. Then, geez, go back. Okay. That, wait for full cargo. Inactivity. So copy, paste. All right, let's just make sure this works. Let's go for a train ride. Let's go to the unload. to do something. All right, so we should be getting refueled. Nice, that was fast. And we should be on our way to... Uh, perfect. All right. So now we've got batteries. That wasn't so bad. The more difficult ones are coming up are the circuits yeah I think what I want to do though is I want to since I'm making rocket fuel at the silos and they're just sitting there I'm wondering if I can um, so rocket fuel is being generated but not being used because we're not launching rockets so I'm wondering if I can within the network put like a lone little loading station here that this guy would go back and forth between i think that would be doable so we're gonna go scoop up um i don't know 300 
Oh, I don't need those anymore. Hey, Zard, how you doing? Um, what mods am I running? I'm glad you asked, because I have an answer. <laughs> Just a lot of quality of life, nothing complicated or anything like that, because I'm really not that good at this game at all. All right, I think that's a good idea. I want to upgrade that way, because when we start going over here for resources, I think being a rocket fuel powered train would be better. So let's go get restocked and then we'll go do a loading hey no 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 you guys leave me alone stop chasing me oh you know in fact let him here because I need to get that and I still have Grab a stack of those and there we go. All right, we'll get restocked. And we're going to make a train. So we're just waiting for some engines and cogs. Um, okay. So what we're gonna have to do is where the rocket fuel is deposited, we'll turn those into passive providers need four of those. I don't need four requester tickets. Because the rocket silos have got, um, oh, you know what? Oh, okay. The rocket silos have got uh, roboports, I think. If not, then we'll have to surround them with robo parts. No, oh, we're going to get out of here. What I'm trying to do in this game is have a dedicated area for the factory, which is right here. And then a dedicated area for the rocket silo. So all the resources being made are not coming from the factory. They're going to come from their own source. So we have iron, copper. And we've got independent trains doing that. We have a um, oil refinery that's doing um, solid fuel. Uh, we're bringing from the, fa from, uh, the silo, we're bringing stuff for here to make our sulfuric acid and and our light oil is also coming from here and going up there so trying to keep it all self-contained you know all right whoa oh there's a lot of trains i don't want to die all right. oh put this walkway in up here and forgot to there we go Okay. Oh, that's fine. All 
right, so here's our rocket fuel. So if we turn that into a passive chest, it's gonna complain about, right? And by the time we start launching rockets, the supply from the... All right, why, why are you not making rocket fuel? What's going on? Oh, I forgot to hook up the light oil. Or I just... Oh, geez. That was my bad. There we go. All right. So let's see here. If we put that there, there, there. Now we got to get power there. There. Oh. And all right. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and drop those guys there. Hey, good morning, Edder. How you doing? Or afternoon. Yes, I got a late start today and stuff over at the house so we're gonna put a uh loading yeah alex and i yesterday we painted two rooms turned out pretty good a little touch up Nothing, nothing major. We also met with a, a contractor. He's gonna, he's working on, or he's working with us to uh, get rid of the kitchen cabinets and doors. Yeah, no biters. No, I, I, um, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I've played with biters before. Don't get me wrong. I had the most fun with biters and doing the lazy bastard. That was so much fun. Um. But because I'm trying to learn how to do things a little bit differently, uh, better, I, guess, I don't know. Oh, wait, do you guys have power or did I bust? All right, do I need this? No. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I got them, I've got them turned off so I can do things. <laughs> All right, so we want to do this. No, not that. There. Oh, geez. So let's request um, rocket fuel. Oh, okay. So what are we missing in here? Bunch of bunch of uh, 
uh, productivity modules. All right, let's go get those. We don't need those anymore. We'll put those back. Let's turn this off. Oh, I made a train. I forgot to do something with it. Back and forth, back. I think tomorrow we're going to do some more Factorio. I, I, I really want to start launching rockets. So I can come back to the... Oh, all right. So that we can uh, start researching stuff and testing out the, um, the factory infrastructure. Structure of infra. Oh. Um... What was I coming over here for specifically for anything? Oh, that's right. Productivity module. Productivity alligator. All right, so speed modules. That one's full. That one's full. Well, where did I get all the speed modules from? Wow, that was fast. And there. Alex is here. I came in with a wrecking ball. Um, that's probably way too many. <sighs> okay, okay. Alex has a day off today and tomorrow. Spending quality time with Alex Jr. Oh my ears! I sorry. I, I, I'm I'm not a vocalist. Yes, I'm sorry about that, editor. If you have if you have any sort of medical bills for your ear therapy, you uh, you don't send it to me. <laughs> I didn't. You know, I do say it's entertainment, but not quality entertainment. If you want quality entertainment. You got a red munch in gaming. He's a quality entertainer right there. I know, I saw. Um, so we're gonna add these 300 over there. You. Hey, Twitch medical officer, how you doing? Left inventory, right, wait. Left inventory, right crafting menu, but wants the personal logistics. Oh, I know. I could have just dipped over there and got him. You're right. Wait, that was a question. Left inventory. Right. Medic. Left inventory. No, no, no. I don't know what the middle does. Oh, what this? So this is my inventory. When you get, when you get a robo ports and, um, so, all right. So you're making all this stuff and versus you running around and, and picking it up and stuff like that. I put steel, uh, iron, copper, the circuits, green, red, and blue into passive provider chests. Then once you start making logistics robots, which are, you know, these guys, these are, these are logistics robots. And those are your construction bots. If I request something in my personal logistics, so let's say I want to, um, I want, um, um, I don't know, we'll do um, 10 of those. Now I'm making those and storing them in a, in, a, in a chest. So wherever they're at on the map, as long as I'm in the right spot, you have to be in the gold area, not the green area. A logistic bot will go get it and bring them to you. See, there they are. So this is how you request stuff and I get restocked. So each time I get within range, I want to make sure I get all of this stuff put back in my inventory so I don't have to run around and look for it. Now, if there's also something I don't want anymore, like these, again, then, then they go. 
I'm getting a little, a little low on, uh, hey, look there. I'll take that. Um, I'm getting a little low on chest here. Let me, um, these are, this is the miscellaneous trash bin right here. I need three more. See, now that I made some stuff, right? It took stuff from my inventory to make it. And now since my limits, I always want to have 700, this 800 and 600. So they're going to try to fulfill my order if they can. They should be able to because we haven't put any stress on the system here. And then if I hover my mouse, you can see, well, now that that's been fulfilled and 32 are on the way to fulfill my 700, 24 is on the way. So. Now, if your robots are kind of slow, sometimes it does make sense to run up to your storage chest and pull the stuff yourself. Hey, it's a choo-choo. I don't want those. Uh, do I have any choo-choo train? Any? It's not. Well, let's find out. So let's say I want to get restocked on those and say, say I want, I want them all. So according to this, I have eight of those in inventory. So I'm going to, oh, I got them all. All right. And that's them flying back because to refill the modules I'm using, they're being, the resources are being requested. They're being assembled, passed along and passed along. So my logistics network is working for me to create stuff. So when I go out and deploy stuff and build stuff with stuff, I can come back and get, it's all about the stuff. Oh, it's a train. Another train. All right, so batteries are still working. That's solid fuel, though. There's the batteries. We are going to replace the rockets. I'm sorry, we're going to replace the trains with, instead of solid fuel, they're going to use rocket fuel. So first of all, I want to go up here and get all this stuff taken care of. Uh, missing how many? 12? How long would it take to make 12? 5, 10, 15. Oh, wait. 12. 12. There we go. All right. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. Okay, so they're requesting and filling. All right, so now we're going to put a train. Oh, wait. I'm going to dump those guys there. And we're going to grab a train. Oh, I got to put a train station. Ah. Oh, it's going to take a while. <clears throat> Go down here. I don't have any speed modules. Darn it. So, the Freddy, did that answer any, any questions for you? Oh, it looks like it did. All right, good. Now, they, 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 mean, they, they move fairly fast, but in your research, you can see here that worker robot speed can be increased again, but you need the space science, and the space science only comes from the rocket launcher. So, guess what we're doing? Yep, we're working on it here. But actually, okay, so I'm gonna cancel those. I'm gonna go get speed modules, Wow, look at that. It's dipping a little bit. 
and the solid fuel is being used to make the rocket fuel because we're pulling the rocket fuel out of the storage. Yes. Alex agrees. See? Told you. All right. Um, so we need speed modules. Now we needed 12 of those. Runs on bat blood. Bat blood. I don't know. Um, six. So let's just grab that. All right. Okay. All right, so this should finish off silos. And then I have to go through a process train that's doing solid fuel somehow i have to empty and divert all that somehow Oh, yay. All right, cool. Um, so we already have a train, actually, but it doesn't hurt to have. Well, let's go do it. Let's go deal with um, the train we already have. All right, let's um, put you on hold for a sec. And I need to, <laughs> okay. faster if I had more room I never played but I've played Dyson Sphere have you tried oh yeah I did it, that game uh, melted my brain you know when you have stuff on a on one planet but then you can get stuff from another planet yeah if I want to get into uh more complex uh, setups. I, I'll go play me some satisfactory, you know? All right, so the train is empty. Oh. Which I do miss playing, by the way. tell you a game that i had a lot of fun with i didn't think it was that cosmeteer space architect blah 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 oh yeah that was a fun game i like how the pace is your pace too uh tool slider or two slider 
Ooze, it's two slider. Thank you so much for the follow. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Oop. Oh. Are they all full? Wow. Oh. There you go. All right. Wait. Can I just pick up? Oh, that's fine. All right. So now what I want to do is um. All of the way over here. We're going to swap. So this is uh, one of our refueling depots. The other one is a solid fuel too, but I don't know how to get rocket fuel all the way over there. Not yet, anyways. Gimme, gimme. Oh! I almost died, my force field. You guys, cut it out. Stupid trains. Just I didn't kill the train. Jerk face, no take tax. That's right. I do kiss my mother with that mouth. All right, so right, now they're all emptied. Crying out loud. Go. One number. All right, so now I'm gonna hop in this train. And we no longer want to pick up the solid fuel. Turn that to manual. We want to go add. Uh, why does that say copper? It's wrong. Yeah. All right. Evidently, I left him out to dry. Sorry, bud. Forgot to rename this. Um, it's going to be rocket fuel. Somewhere in here. Here it is. Rocket fuel depot. Remember, Supreme Commander or black and white sort of mega robot. Even. Um, I remember that game, Supreme Commander. My, my computer at the time couldn't, it lagged. I had so many, uh, so many robots. All right, so we're going to uh, add a station, and that's the one I want. And we're going to say, wait for full cargo, inactivity, and... All right. There we go. Oh yeah. That was fast. Cause they only, yeah, that's 10 per. Now, eventually all these, um, Trains will cycle through their solid fuel and get rocket fuel. It goes here, do a split. You made a clip. Well, thanks. Wait, what did I say? What did I do wrong? So did I not do this for, oh, I did it right. All right, yay. All right, cool. All right, so 
Now we got the rocket fuel going. Oh, getting run over by a train? Fine. All right. So he can go about his business. All right. What is the next thing to add? Um, interesting. Plastic and steel. So plastic can come from an oil refinery. So we can put that oil refinery over here to make the plastic. But to make plastic, we need coal. So we need a coal source somewhere. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go exploring. Is there anything else we can work on? Uh, no, those are gonna take a lot of stuff. All right, let's work on steel. So we're, we already have iron, but it's a dedicated iron. When we want to make a dedicated steel, so we need to find another iron not being used, like, like these. So we have a train track up here already, right? Yeah. So we can just take this through, drop drills, smelt it, smelt it, drop off the steel, and then drop off steel and drag it through. That's the plan. All right. So we're going to need, um, I need to pick up my stuff. Jaeger, how the heck are you doing, man? Um, so we can get rid of some of this stuff. And then we're going to gear up for um, expanding our train network. We're going to bring those spider trons. You're doing heck of good. I love it when people are doing heck of good, you know, because when you ask them, how the heck are you doing? You like the trains? Well, I, I will be frank and honest with you. This fueling depot, not my design. Somebody made that for me. That would be Quad made that. Oh, you love choo-choo's in real life. When I lived in Sacramento, California, we had a, tr a rail, a train museum. And uh, they um, actually had real engineers, train engineers to answer all your questions for all the different trains. It was really cool. Uh, let see here, what do I need to do? But I'm in the Bay Area, lots of model trains. Yeah, but see, also, you guys got BART, BART station. You got all sorts of stuff down there. And light rail. I got, I got confused with the maps. All right, what am I looking for? Uh, we're going to do train tracks. It's good. Okay. That area will get some more stuff as Elk Grove keeps exploring. Yeah, well, the light rail, when it first started off, facilitated downtown Sacramento and went up to, it was still within Sacramento. I hadn't dipped into Citrus Heights or anything like that, but you can actually catch the light rail all the way to Folsom. So now, I don't know where it is now. Um. All right, let's go over here and drop off some stuff. Okay, that's full. Drop off the excess. And then that's full. That's full. Wow. All right, so we'll just drop off those. What else we got? Oh. Um. Wow, these guys. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Wait. I didn't see that. All right, so I have got a request for rails. We got that stuff. We're gonna take the spider trons, uh, but if we're going to drill, let's take, I don't know, 200 drills. And then See how many furnaces we can make room for. Let's uh for those. Trying to make some space. I got enough trains on me, so let's drop that.
But I recommend this or Satisfactory first. Well, this has got a lot better logic. So you can do a lot of very creative things based on, you know, triggers and thresholds and stuff like that. So Factorio has been, I mean, if you ask anyone at Coffee Stain, they'll say that they were deeply inspired by, by Factorio. Um, I would get Factorio now because they're about to increase their, their price by five bucks. Um, and that's their first price increase in like, what, five years, something like that. Um, Satisfactory still in development too, so. I recommend doing both before heavily modded Factorio. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get um, 200, uh, what am I looking for, smelters, furnaces. Um, I'm waiting for Satisfactory to push out another update. I mean, space exploration. Oh, yes, yes. So Gopher's talking about a mod for Factorio because space exploration, again, talk about, you know, turning your insides outside. Gross. I've been forged in the fire of RimWorld. Oh, all those games that require micromanagement, you know, oxygen not included and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, all right. So let's, um, Choose your avenue. Yes. We are going to. I just I, I I don't have it. I wish I had. I'm hoping in a year that, you know, right now Alex and I are splitting our time between jobs and trying to get the house fixed. Um to move in. Uh yeah. Alright, so we are gonna go. The heck oh i hit the wrong button there we go that that we are going to expand this we're going to utilize this first because we want to make steel and we got stuff in here too look we got all kinds of things and then also i uh, um so next month we have uh herbal two and that's we're going to be released in phases. Um, then the month after that, I, I, I got it that I want to get it. So Company of Heroes 3. And I'm playing another game, which I'm so terrible at, Squad. And I, and I so admire these people that know how to play these first-person shooters because they're just... And, and plus the teamwork is just really spot on, too. Team Outpost. Is that the game where you build an outpost and you have hordes of zombies coming at you or something like that? Oh, I got you. An outpost. Yeah, some sort of space station or outpost on the planet. I'm, I'm really hoping um, when they announced their Discord, I went over there and the first question I asked is, are we going to actually be able to drive rovers or is it going to be power sliding? And uh, I got a little flamage from a couple of people going, I guess you haven't been watching the uh, the the devs blogs. I go, no, I, ha I have not. I'm sorry. So evidently uh, they are going to do their best and we're going to have drivable rovers. I saw it in a couple of their videos, but I'm just thinking, you know, um, Maybe. Hey. All right. Well, I mean, there's always been rovers in the game, but the ground physics in Kerbal are just the worst almost. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to put drills. Alex, we're doing some drilling. She gave me the thumbs up. All right, so first of all, let's uh, clear out the space here a little bit. How about flight? Oh, you mean, am I gonna finally do airplanes? I don't know. I have, 
in Kerbal, for as long as I've been playing, I've been very happy with rockets, and I'm still learning how to do better rockets. To complicate my life in trying to do aerodynamics and fly within the atmosphere. Now they're, they're, they work fine. They work fine. Do you want EJSA? No, I don't need Eric Johnson's space agency. Oh, well, he's, he's got problems. You tell EJ that Gamer Circle said he's got problems. You can even clip it and send it to him. He knows he's got problems. Everyone has an obsession. His obsession? Fast moving rockets, high actane, fuel, you know, liquid kerosene. Those are problems. All right, so we want to go up. And yeah, all right, let's see how this works. Well, I mean, it's like anything, right? Someone becomes a self-professed uh, expert in something, right? For a long time, I considered myself a very knowledgeable person when it came to uh, comic books. Hey, Twitch Medical Officer, thank you so much for the three months. Appreciate that very much. I did not hear a sound effect go off. Now, the only thing I'm an expert with is uh, ordering pizza and eating pizza. Oh, did you hear it? Okay, I must have been... I, I couldn't hear myself in my big, loud noggin. All right, so do you guys have, um, oh, you do. Give me, give me, give me, give me those. Um, give me those, those, hang on. So the, the, the best thing about doing this this way is I can send these guys back and get restocked. All right, let's go over here. All right, so we got some weirdness here. So we're gonna connect power. <clears throat> And we've got some weird gaps here. All right, so let's, let's get these gaps filled. So we're going to put a splitter here. I'm going to bring this over. Then we're going to say the priority is... And this is also going to go over to a splitter. And I think that's going to be okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do a six to four. Thanks, Elfie, for the high. Appreciate it. Six to four. Here we go. Um, put it up here a little bit. So what do I do? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So
It's okay, Alex. So this will go there. You want to come over and introduce yourself? Love my girlfriend. I take care of that. Then we do that. Cool. So we've got all the drills taken care of. <clears throat> Is she shy? I'm making fun of her because she's not noticing. She apologizes for any loud noises, but then some things that are just not really loud, supposedly, are extremely loud for some reason. All right. So we're going to take these four outputs and we're going to smelt them. And I want to give them their own dedicated smelters. <clears throat> Hopefully I got enough resources. We're going to do furnace setups, this. So let's see here. That's an output. That's the input. So we're going to do this. One, two, three, and four. Oh, you know what? I don't think we really need those. Oh, speaking of Factorio, check it out. I 3D printed an electric furnace. Someone had a model of it and I printed it. All right, let me um let me go down here and take everything from them I can. What do we need? We need Really? Did we do all the... F oh, wait a minute. <sighs> well, all right. So now what's funny is this gets us iron, but it doesn't give us steel. So that's what we're trying to get next is a steel. I don't know why I pronounce it like that. Steel. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a little shortcut here. Going to paint it. If I, ha I will, but it won't look good. Um, so if I copy all of this and line it up. Oh, that's going to be nice. Give it a little bit of room. I mean, I'll paint it, but I, I don't know how to, um, hang on. If I type in furnace, see how it's got like some weathering and I, I, I'll try. I actually created a big old, uh, like a, a Bradley shell. And um, this, it's my first attempt to sand it down and paint it, or actually I primed it and um, needs more sanding. All right. Um, so what do we need? Okay. Can I make, I can only make, all right. So we're going to go, so we don't need any more furnaces. So I can get rid of those. Oh, yes, I can't. All right. I tell you what, 
they helped out nicely. So what we're going to do here though, is we're going to Oops. Anyways, second episode of Last of Us was on last night. Anyone watching that series? I'm I'm enjoying it. So is Alex. She's not a big zombie, but these aren't really zombies. These are infected individuals. Huh? Sorry. She's not a zombie. She's not a big zombie fan. Did not mean to call Alex a zombie, although the way you've been bumping into things. <laughs> Why? I thought that was hilarious. You're laughing. <laughs> I've just been declared a zombie. No take backs. Great. All right. So, um, need power. All right. Oh, oh wait, hang on, wait, wait, wait. I must have ran out of lights. I did. They got lights. Come here. Give me your lights. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take those also. Your lights. Those. Those. those oh you got those nice wait do you guys all have those oh oh i request though oh it's oh wait Drunk. there they are all right so we're gonna send these guys back home kind of a long way have them get resupplied. Resender, thanks for the raid. Resender, how the heck are you doing, man? All right, so we need to get these things powered up. There we go. All right, so while I'm thinking about it, then we're gonna take these outputs and go to, ooh, there's an oil field right up there. That's good to know. Hmm. Let's make some room here. Um, Let's make that room. We're gonna do a four to four. Then we're going to turn around and send these to a train loading station. That worked out nice.
we're going to put a station here. It's going to be called Steel for Rocket Silo Pickup. Then we're going to put a train here. Fuel. Oh. All right, so. Okay. All right, now we don't have any inserters. What do we need? We need a lot of stuff up here. Yes, we do. Um, can I make, I can make six of those. Really don't think I need them up here, but. Oh, it's like. So would there be any problem connecting those? Those would smelt. Those, oh, yeah, we can connect all this. Let's make sure this is gonna work before I go off do other stuff. This stuff gets turned into steel. There's steel. There's steel. Just want to make sure I didn't. Okay, steel and steel. All right, good. Then the steel comes out of there, all the way down here. And it's going to load up into a train. And we're going to actually put a train stop. And then we're going to load up another, we're going to have another train waiting. Then we'll come back and, uh, Get all this going.
All right, so we need, let's need it over here. No, we don't need those. All right. Well, might as well. Eventually, instead of using track, I use logistics bots. I just haven't gotten around to swapping it over. You know what? I should start carrying a couple of those. Yeah. All right. Let's get a train over here. Lazy Mooful, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate that. Thanks for bringing all your incredible peeps over here. We're, um, all right. Moo. All right, there's our ride. Oh, head back. We're trying to, um, right, raid hype. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, trying to, um, get wreck it, wreck it, rocket silos up and running and self-sustaining. So they're not getting any resources from the factory. And then hopefully our factory will be able to run at top notch speed. We've also got our own power. So this is, um, so I mean, I, I, I complicated my game a little bit by saying that after my initial steam power, I have to go solar, no nuclear power whatsoever. I can make, I can mine uranium and use it for the fuel or bullets, but I don't have any biters enabled. So this runs all of this, the track right here has got severed power lines so we don't cross over and uh, this is powering all this right now i think let's hop out oh i'm gonna get swarmed all right so we don't need that anymore go away all right stop stop there we go um so we don't need those or those What we do need is I need to go stock up on um, beacons and modules so we can start cranking out the steel and, and, and uh, iron faster. Yes. Then we need to um, need to check on uh, how much power all that's drawing. So we just got um, we just got battery production up and running for it and routed to them. We're taking the rocket fuel that's being generated for the rocket silos. We're actually via logistics bus sending that to another train who picks it up and takes it to our refueling depot. So we just swapped over uh, some of the trains that are doing solid fuel to rocket fuel. So they're going faster and vroom vroom, you know. All right, so we got some space, so we don't need those. Um, so let's go get tell you what, let's just load up on all of these for right now. And we're going to, we're going to come back. Yeah, it's vanilla, but I, ha I have mods that are just basically quality of life mods. Because I'm 
I can't do space exploration. I've tried Crastorio. I even tried the other one called, um, hang on a sec. 1024 or something like that. And I had to do aluminum and I, I think I was bleeding from my eye sockets trying to figure it out. No, 248, sorry, 248K. So I, I'm not an advanced factorial place. And they don't try industrial revolution. <laughs> I won't. You mean the uh, industrial Titan? Are you still trying to get your head around vanilla? I'm, I'm trying to take my understanding to um, the next, uh, what I just learned is like on my refueling station, I didn't know you could do this. I didn't know you can take stations with the same name. I thought they had to be different and you would have to assign like two per. So the game figures out which one's available and sends a train to it. I, I you know. Okay, anyway. I, I, I had no idea. So that's why now all of a sudden I'm doing um, like my copper, I have one rocket, one silo, I'm sorry, one pickup for the uh, copper and one drop off. And then I have two trains that run back and forth. Oh, I know I, I do that. See, I got a little picture in there. Mm -hmm. got a little photograph. All right. We sent the, um, oh, they're stuck. Oh, okay. That's bad. Yeah. All right. Sorry guys. So come back this way. <laughs> I was hoping they were going to go exploring. They did not. They got stuck. It's my Spider-Tron construction crew. Ooh, there's the coal we were looking for, for plastic. Nice. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, Okay, we just go straight up. Oh, actually, wait a minute, hang on. What is this? This is, um, that's already been beefed up, right? The only thing that's missing are, we don't need to send those over there. Hang on, it's gonna peak. Yeah, okay, those are all, all juiced up and ready to go. All right. Let's see how the power draw is. So during the day, we're um, running off the of sol solar and charging up our accumulators. Uh, do I have coal? I, I have unlocked it. I've, I've never used it. Because it, doesn't it take coal and make oil out of it? And then you need steam or, or something like that. All right. Um... We should have enough resources to um, make our unloading station. This is my current head against the wall. Sorry. I think I may miss. Oh, so coal. A processing technique to turn coal into oil products with the use of steam and heavy oil. So yeah, if you're um, if you're running, if you got a lot of coal but you don't have hardly any oil. Yeah, that, that's a process you'd want to use. All right, so let's see here. So right now we're dropping off our coal copper here. This is our iron. So we're gonna drop off steel right here. I need to go over there. I use coal liquefaction and spatial from plants which coal, with coal. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, I get that, yes. So I guess if you made a custom game, 
and you reduced oil incredibly right and then you had only the coal yeah you would have to so it's good for certain si yes exactly yeah just like gopher pointed out if you if you're lacking oil like oil deposits like i have oil here um oil there oil there so i'm not lacking oil so to take coal and turn it into oil i don't need to do that no i don't oh that's true that's true all right so we need unloading gopher is not fibbing on that all right so we're gonna make two of these we can't do that one there so we have to do that one there all right we'll get this one finished don't need that there hmm Lazy Moofle, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Right, let's try to get now this one made. Whoa. Like that. So we need 25. go all right no problem lazy you have a fantastic lurking event okay with many more lurking events to come all right so um so this is going to be the steel and so what do we need to do is make a spot for it. So steel and plastic. Right. right. Let's copy this. episode here got a mind of its own all right um take one of those
All right, so this is going to be um, it's going to be the unload. So if I oh, all right, so I need to travel all the way up there. That looked like an AP half and half. What? I don't know. What, what are you talking about? What's your favorite drink? What do you mean AP? I hear AP, I think action points. You drink an Arnold Palm. Oh, no. Um, it's a uh, Diet, Ma Diet Mountain Dew. And because of the green, it's being masked out. Arnold Palm. I, you know, the, I've never had an exotic drink or a, I've always been just a simple like Tom Collins or screwdriver. Uh, Long Island iced tea, I guess that's the most exotic drink. I tried a Harvey Wallbanger once just because it had a funny name. I didn't like it. Or Harvey. Nope, never had a fuzzy navel or age. Nope, never did. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add station. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to un empty cargo. Then we're going to go and get refueled. Wait for inactivity. The AP is non-alcoholic. Arnold Palmer is a non-alcoholic half to. Oh, I see. Oh, right. Yeah. The um, um, Snapple makes those. Kamikazes are yummy too. Never had a kamikaze. I get you. I'm hip. I'm, I'm part of the cool game. Cool. I'm not cool anymore. All right. So we we drop it off. We refuel, and then we need to go load up again. I've never heard of a Pearl Harbor. So we want to do full cargo. And inactivity again. All right, so we're going to, um, I think that's gonna work. So if we copy, paste, you on automatic. Wait a minute, did that work? Locally, I get them from Arizona Tea Company. Oh, nice. Yes. I was introduced, I never knew what Arizona iced tea was until I moved out to the East Coast to work for a company. Yeah, I was drinking those all the time. There we go, perfect, all right. So let's go, uh, let's go test this and see if this works. So we need to go to the unload. I'm gonna go all the way down there and do that, okay. We're testing the rail system. Far less sugar for my teeth and waistline oh wait really all right i get you there's more sugar in the uh in your half and half huh all right all right then you guys should drop off oh my look how Okay, we got a we got a problem. All right, we got to switch and go fix our nuclear issue here. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's horrible. All right, so solar is coming back online, so we're getting some power. Okay, we got to stop all consumption of power. That's all those modules being put in there.
lost weight by stopping drinking sodas. I just need to stop eating pie. And cookies. And hamburgers. Fries. I eat a lot of fruit though. Well, bananas. I eat a lot of bananas. <sighs> All right, so we need to um need to get the spider trons down to the solar area, start laying down some uh landfill. Yep. My sister said I can't outrun my fork by playing pickleball. So I've started eating more tacos so I can stop using a fork. There you go. He's back. All right, so let's send this guy to there. So we don't have to run as far. All right, so are you using you're using okay let's get rid of that so you're using rocket fuel there we go now we're using rocket fuel and max speed is 259 plus 39. we're a rocket propelled <clears throat> wow look how fast you all right we're gonna hop out of here hmm Um, let's have the spider trons. Are you guys all restocked? Are. All right, so we can send you guys over here. Well, things are going to run real. We're going to add some more um, solar here right now. Well, I didn't add too many beacons. It was just a lot of production modules. Just, just got deployed. Ran into a rock. Oh, look at this. I bet we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're taxing out. We're taxing this out. Are we out of oil up here though? No, we got oil. All right. All right, let's get um let's return these these modules. Oh, we got plenty of landfill all stocked up too. This is going to take a lot of landfill. So go over here and do that. Over there, do that. Oh geez, no, not that. Give me that back. Oh, for crying out loud, things keep shifting on me. There we go. All right. Um, let's go down to our solar supply train so we're going to try to drop a bunch all right so you're going to need put 18 So we get resupplied. We're going to ride the train over, let the train unload it, come back. And then we're going to use the um, landfill we get from the Spider Trons. 
put some land and then try to put some more solar down. Let's go for a ride. buckets here drop all this stuff off and then we're gonna add more of those guys take all of that, all of that. Oh, oh, we got so much more here. Cool. All right. Send these guys back to get you supplied. And I don't think we're going to have enough landfill to... Um, spider trons back we might be able to get a panel or two in there oh all right they haven't been completely restocked have they no wow that's taking forever why wow i hardly have any probably oh that's why because all the logistics is being all spread out got it and four. We'll give it a sec here.
All right, let's um. Oh, juice. All right, looks like they got resupplied. All right, so let's get them over here. again send you guys back All right, let's see see what I can do here I think if I fill in this spot here if that's big enough for a panel it looks like it would be All right, so we want to line that up. Oh, wait, I want to turn that off. So that'll get built by itself. Just need to. Dang it. Yeah, we're, we're running out of power, so that's why we're doing this. All right, they're, they're building stuff. I'm going to see if... Um, Exactly. I have 2,200. Nope. Not enough to put another panel. I'm going to have to wait for... Uh... So it's 5 o'clock in the morning. The solar panels should be grabbing some juice. Right, okay, so we're we're getting right up there. There we go. Now we're supplying enough power to what's running and charging the accumulators. Now, something I learned uh, last playthrough is letting the bots do all the work. Don't run around and do it myself. That's what I'm doing. So I have all the supplies are brought out here and put into chests. It's not very logically done. Jirla, how you doing? So they're going to go out there and build all that. They're going to put, you know, the, the only problem is if I don't have a robo port, then they'll go out and run out of battery. All right. Um, oh, good. They got restocked. Cool. So let's bring them out here. My solar blueprint is tileable and includes rover port, so I plop them down. This is mine's not tileable, or it's not a um, hang on, tileable is not the word I'm looking for. Um, snap to grid, it doesn't have a 
but this is a um someone gave this to me because it's slightly better than the one i was using before and um uh, it includes everything it works i understand it that's what's important Understanding is half the battle. Let's see if we want to get, we're going to do that one. That means I need to go down to about here. And run over to about here. It's over a little too far. Alright, this is where it gets tricky. One one line up. Oh jeez. Let's see if we can last through the night. All right, so it's seven o'clock. We're still charging the accumulator. Looks like we can't charge them all the way up though. Probably because the robots are dropping more accumulators than solar panels. All right, so 27 gigajoules. Let's see if we can last. Let's see here. So at about a little after one in the morning, the panels will start grabbing some rays. We're in the middle of something, Ray. Oh, uh, I don't think we're going to make it. There's the panels. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I was just putting panels down and I didn't know the accumulators was the storage version of it or the other part of it. All right, now we're picking up some juice. We have to generate at least 350. And we're out of juice. All right. I can't seem to. There we go. All right, so we didn't quite last through the night on that. Let's um, bring them out here again. All right, guys.
Okay. This should be adequate. I'm just going to run through here. Looks like this panel was complete. That's nice. This one's got some problems. All right. see uh see how power goes on this one so 10 o'clock in the morning um panels are generating 8.99 kilos kilo, kilowatts sorry kilowatts kilos so we're over the halfway mark on charging up the uh batteries here So one thirty in the afternoon. I think we might get the uh, accumulators all charged up here. It looks like it. Nice. Oh, 9.1 kilowatts. 6,000 kilocams. It's a kilocam. Remember last time we didn't charge the accumulators by by this time, so it looks like doing good. Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, Oh, jeez. Let me do that. I upset the delicate balance. I 
right, guys, I think this is a good stopping point because otherwise I'm going to be just running back and forth doing the uh, solar panels. So tomorrow we'll be back. I'll be back my regular time and uh, we're going to do some more. We're going to we're going to get rockets going. I mean, we we've got the steel. We just got to route it. But we ran out of power. Drill. We'll see you later. Then we got to do plastic. And I think uh, this is going to become. This is going to become our plastic factory here. And we're going to have to draw. If there's coal over here, that would be a shorter route, but we're going to have to uh, uh, pull coal from here, it looks like. But we we have the infrastructure. All right, let's go ahead and roll some credits. Old Grumpy, we'll see you later. Lazy Mule and Tool Slider, thank you so much. Twitch Medical Officer, thank you for the resub. Appreciate that. And also Resender and Lazy Mule, thanks for the raid. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Have a good one. I'm out of here.